Welcome to a basic walkthrough of how to use the camera tool in World in Conflict. It will help you create your own movies from replays of multiplayer matches, and it's truly amazing what you can create if you put some effort into it. There is of course a lot more to do with the camera tool than I have time to show you now. This short is just to get you started. This is a situation I created that I think is cool to get on film. So now I just start off with activating the camera tool by typing scene cam new and the file name in the console. When you figured out which parts in your recorded game you want to film, just pause the game at the correct time using Ctrl Z. Put out your first control point by moving the camera to the correct position and heading, and then press the I key to create the camera control point. It is possible to toggle the interface by pressing F10. When you are satisfied with your first control point, move forward in the replay using Ctrl X for slow motion and Ctrl C for normal time. When you are satisfied and want to create a new control point, pause the game again and move the camera to a new position and heading. Then place a second control point with the I key. Then just repeat this maneuver until you have covered what you want to record. When you are done, press F8 to save it. The recording is still paused. To see how the camera path will look and perhaps to do some changes, press F5 to get into the camera path. I like to remove the interface just so that I can see what it really looks like. Now use K and L to move forwards and backwards in the camera path. If you like to, you can adjust the control points. You can use arrows to pan and tilt. Banking is done with slash and asterisk. You can zoom in and out by pressing home and end buttons. You can switch between control points by pressing page up and down. Let's see what happens when I do some changes. And then go back and forth in the camera path. So let's say that I'm happy with this. Then I can save it by pressing F8 and exit from the camera path with F5. All the changes I showed you can be done in this mode too. Switch between control points with page up and down or simply use the left mouse button. A downside with this mode is that you don't see the result of your actions right away, but you can jump into the camera path with F5 as shown before to see the results and save it again when you're satisfied. Then just create the rest of the camera path you need, repeating the same procedure as before. Okay, so next I'll show you how to turn this camera path into a film sequence. Now load the recording again and load your camera paths by typing SceneCam Load and the file name in the console. The camera will automatically find and follow the camera path you've created, at the right point in time. You can toggle the camera spline by pressing F6. When the time is right, take the interface away if that's what you want and press the dot button to start the recording. You get a good idea of the result as the sequence is recorded. You will probably have to throw away a lot of material before you get that perfect shot. When the segment is over, deactivate the video recorder with the dot button again. Now I will show you a sequence from the same replay a few camera paths later. This sequence is edited together. As mentioned before, there are many more features available in the camera tool than what I just showed you. You can read all about it in the camera tool manual. So get started and create your own movies. I'm really looking forward to see some great movies that outshine what I've just done. Good luck!